All right, welcome back to the channel. So Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal Charlo or Gennady Golovkin or Errol Spence is, in, is stalled until at least 2022. Now that Canelo Alvarez has let his plans be known, according to Boxing 24, and Caleb Plant makes the list. Let's talk about why I think that this is not a bad thing. I hope it's not a bad thing. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So Canelo Alvarez is the man at 168 pounds, 160 pounds, and 175 pounds financially if that's where he decided to fight. Very big name in the sport of boxing. Excellent, excellent fighter. Hall of Fame without a doubt if he retired today. Recent news, like as in I just heard this <laughs> before I did this video, comes out. Shout out to Boxing News 24 for the article. And Canelo Alvarez says that he is going to fight three times in 2021. Now, I would correct that and say that Canelo Alvarez would be better to say that he will fight up to three times in 2021. Now, why would I say up to? Because we're in the middle of a virus and you don't know what's going to go on in boxing ne and next year. So you can't promise anything. And that's just the situation with everybody. Shouldn't it be Tyson Fury? But anyway, I'll leave that alone. No low blows necessary during this video. Regardless, that's the situation. That's what Canelo Alvarez says. And the people that they say, according to Boxing News 24, that are in the running are... Yaldemir, Avon Yaldemir in February, which means he's turning back right back around like next month, right? He just fought this. He just fought in December looking to be back in February. I think that says a lot. Second, uh, Billy Joe Saunders in May. So what do you have? February, April, May. So two months, boom, right there back with uh, Billy Joe Saunders. And then after that, in September, right, during the his two regular fight days uh, times during the year, um, Caleb Plant. Because what he's saying is that he wants to unify all the belts at 168 pounds in the year 2021. Now, let me say this. There's a lot of things I got problems with, ty with um, Canelo Alvarez about. You know, the drug test, right, the franchise belts, all the things that I've talked about before. When I see this line up and I, and I try to get behind it and say, okay, what is the mindset that would go into this? Yaldemir in February basically means he just fought Callum Smith and he's going to come back the month after next and go back and go fight Yaldemir, who was his sparring partner. So what is that? That's just two sparring matches in a row, but they happen very quickly. And he had a certain amount of money on that fight. Now, I do remember... I mean, on that contract. And I do remember um, Canelo Alvarez saying, hey, man, something about you got three more or something like that, five down, you got three more, something like that. So it had been reported that, you know, there is a number for Canelo Alvarez on that zone in his relationship with the zone before he's able to go out and then be a free agent. At least that's what it seems like when those are the names that are being thrown around because the at the end of it, right, it's like, or he says two more. He might have said two more because that would be um, Galdemir, then Billy Joe Saunders. Because after that, that's Caleb Plant, right? I think he might have said two more to go, two to go. Galdemir, who's a sparring partner, and Billy Joe Saunders, who's a legitimate threat, and is a legitimate threat in this way that he possesses something that nobody else, none of these other uh, Eastern, these not Eastern European, but the um, British fighters that he's been fighting lately or or eastern european fighters in the case of sergey kovalev have presented which is foot fit footwork now why well, joke not on joke not the biggest fan of billy joe saunders it's just you know it is what it is the dude says something crazy about me and didn't know me so i will acknowledge that every time i make a comment about him because you know it's just what it is but as a fighter the dude can move right 
That's the one thing that he has. He has good foot. Well, not the one thing. He has more than that. But he's a good athlete. He's a better athlete than and less flat-footed for certain than a guy like uh, Rocky Fielding or um, either Rocky Fielding or K- or Callum Smith, right? Or somebody like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. or somebody like uh, Gennady Golovkin, right? And that would be one step towards unification at 168 with the WBO with the WBO belt, and then the WBA. That means he would have the. I think what's the IBF? Does he one the IBF 168 pound? Yeah, that's Caleb Plant. So he's got the WBC, right? And I do believe he's also got the WBA, right? Because that's what Callum Smith had. So he's unified now. The next fight would be basically a sparring match, right? To for one more payday to get closer to the getting out of that contract. Billy Joe Saunders, who is fights on the zone and is probably the most legit threat outside of Demetrius Andrade, right? Who's at that, who's there. There was talk about Demetrius Andrade fighting um, um, Billy Joe Saunders for his belt, but I don't think that's going to happen in February or any time below May, before May. And if Billy Joe Saunders has that opportunity, that fight's not going to happen. But that's the WBO belt. Then, then you have um, Caleb Plant, who has as the last fight to unify everything, which is why I say that's a really big opportunity for Caleb Plant with the PBC because that's a unification fight and it's with the PBC. So you see how that those three things in February, May, and September would push him through the end of 2021, which also is kind of in line with what Bernard Hopkins was saying in an interview that he gave I believe to fight hype where he said that he thought Callum Smith was just to kind of rock, you know, knock the rust off. Well, you know, that's definitely what's, you know, a, a fight with your sparring partner is, is to knock the rust off or do, it's just a payday. But then in it with Callum, Callum Smith, that's a good thing. Now, what is, what also does that mean? Because that works in concert. Ah, Drew Titan works in concert with, um, what's going on at 160 pounds because now that leaves an opportunity for Jamal Charlo. If Gennady Golovkin was serious about it to make a fight with, or, or because um, Demetrius Andrade is still at 160 and he hasn't vacated his belt yet for Demetrius Andrade to fight Gennady Golovkin. And they could probably maybe able to clean up some stuff at 160. And then in 2022, if, if uh, Jamal moves up to 168, that's already cleared out unless Canelo Alvarez is retiring, you know, and I don't think he would go out with cats moving up and you just, well, who knows, but you get my point. So, um, and then even that also would push 2022 to any time frame in which a fight with um, Errol Spence would take place. And that gives enough time for Errol Spence Jr. to fight Manny Pacquiao and or Terrence Crawford. Hope, and then, you know, maybe be able to clean up a uh, welterweight and then, you know, that's why I'm saying, like, if if everything could come together and the people wanted to make some real magical stuff happen at 147 pounds, at 160 pounds and 168 pounds, it could really happen, man. But it would take it really does take that route. And if what's necessary to make that happen is for Canelo Alvarez to go through Yaldemir, which I know is a trash fight and Billy Joe Saunders, which is less of a trash fight. And it's a more of an interesting matchup. You know, it's not Callum Smith, I do not believe. But I also don't believe um, Billy Joe Saunders is going to be able to pull that off. But we'll see. But anyway, that's what my take is on the scenario. I'm not, if that is true with their reporting, I don't really have a bad issue with it, big issue with it, because it does allow other things to happen at the same time. And, you know, I don't mind the Billy Joe Saunders fight, but that. And I definitely don't mind that Callum, that Caleb Plant uh, angle, but dog, there's some there's some coincidences in that mug that I'm just gonna leave alone. But anyway, we'll see. You let me know what you think in the comment section because those what I gave you that's that's just my thoughts. And I appreciate you listening to me. And with that, I'm out. Peace.